Hi, it's Matt Carter here with some more internet marketing tips. In this particular video, we're looking at how to find keywords. I'm going to take you through the process of finding keywords for your site, and we'll look at some practical examples. As I always mention in my videos, if you want some more free training and other videos, go over to my blog. There's tens of thousands of people in my community that are following my blog now, free internet marketing and a lot of affiliate marketing advice. So it's found at mattsmarketingblog.com. Right, so in this particular video, let's look at keywords. The first thing you need to do, step one, is look at the search volume. There's no point in going after keywords that nobody is typing into Google or any of the search engines. And I'm going to refer to Google mostly in this video because it's the biggest search engine. You've got to make sure people are looking for what the keywords that you're um, choosing. It sounds pr pretty obvious, but some people don't realize that. And we'll look at an example in a moment. Then you've got to think of your traffic method. Um, it's all well and good to choose keywords, but you need to work out, are you going to do search engine optimization to get traffic on these keywords, or are you going to do paid traffic? You might be doing Google AdWords traffic um, and other, or other forms of paid traffic. I focus heavily on SEO, search engine optimization, so that's what I'll be focusing on in this video. But make sure that you work out your traffic method. If it's search engine optimization or anything really, uh, you, look at, you need to look at the competition level of that keyword. If a keyword is exceptionally competitive, it's going to be very difficult for you to get top rankings in the search engines. And if it's paid traffic, it's going to be highly expensive for you to, to get traffic from a keyword. And a lot of times on paid traffic, big companies can purpose, purposely sort of bid you out of the market until um, you go bankrupt, making you pay too much because they bump the price of the keyword up. But as far as SEO goes, you really got to look at the competition. And then you need to you need to work on planning your strategy with your keywords. Uh, SEO in particular or anything, but mainly SEO I think is all about strategy. You've got to plan your keyword strategy out really well from the beginning. And I'm going to show you an example of this now by going over to the Google Keyword Tool. Uh, I'll flick to that right now so you can follow along with me. To get to the Google Keyword Tool, just type into Google. Google Keyword Tool. Simple as that. Once you're in the Google Keyword Tool, um, you just need to change the location here to where you're marketing. So I'm going to change it to United States. Over on the left-hand side, it says Match Types. I always flick that to a, a, an exact match. Different types of match types will give you different search volumes. I, w I haven't got time in this short video to explain that, but you could do a little bit of research, and I'm sure you'll find a video that explains the different match types for you. So what you want to do if you're going into, um, let's say you're going into car insurance as the industry that you want to find keywords for, I would start with the core keyword of, of the industry, the main keyword, and then have a look at all the subcategories inside the main category. So I scroll down, and Google is showing me you know, all these other, all this other information. So I'll just quickly look at what could be the potential categories or a sub niche inside this larger niche or niche, however you prefer to say it, inside um, car insurance. So car insurance is the top level. It's very competitive. So if you're new to all this online stuff, you better to go down into like um, a different subcategory if you can. Like possibly, you know, teenage car insurance is a, a sub niche inside the greater niche, teen car insurance or under 25 car insurance. You know, or car insurance for over 50s. Just you can find a different sub niche inside it. So if you've got, if you think there's enough search volume by going into one of these smaller niches, then that's good. So what I would normally do if I found a, a niche like car insurance and I think I want to just focus on teenage car insurance, I go back to the top and I start with that root keyword now, and then I search like that in Google and I want to try and find the related keywords to this smaller niche. So this is what you do in any major market. You go to the Google Keyword Tool, look at the larger category and see if there's any smaller categories that you can go into because you might find it's a lot easier to do. Google will then give you a whole lot of related keywords. On the left hand side you'll see there's a filter. It says include terms. If you're just looking for teenage car insurance keywords, Put the word teenage and then add the filter and it will change the results, only show results with the word teenage in it. As you can see here, these have all got the word teenage. So you might be going into the teenage car insurance niche because it's not as competitive. Now you want to look at choosing different keywords. If you're going to build a website that's at least 10 or 20 pages, you need to have a bit of variety in the articles on your website. It can't just be keywords like teenage car insurance, um, 
teenage car insurance, cost. Well, there's there's a bit of variety here, but you just, you just kind of have exactly the same phrases because your content's going to be very boring because you're not really saying anything different on these pages. So you might have your home page of your website that targets teenage car insurance. And then you might have another inner page that has teenage car insurance rates. So that's slightly different because you might have a table that has all the different rates. Then you might have cheap teenage car insurance. You might have the cheapest option out there and you've done the research for people. So these are different topics that you could talk about. How much is it? Yeah, you could do another article on that. Cost, that's really the same thing as how much. So that's not really going to be a great another keyword to go for. Neither is average cost, prices. They're always they're pretty much the same article. So I wouldn't you know I wouldn't go into uh, that best teenage car insurance. You could do a review of multiple teenage car uh, teenage insurance. Sorry, car insurance teenage male. That's slightly different. But if you look over here, the search volume is negative ten. So that's not a great keyword. It's too low. And on that point, what you want to be looking for when you're doing this is, whoops, I flicked again. Sorry, I was just looking at my time. Google only, uh, YouTube only gives me a certain amount of time for each video. We've got a couple minutes to go. Always be looking in the local monthly search column. Don't look globally because if you're, you know, doing your SEO locally, then you're going to rank in one country. You're not going to rank in the same place all over the world, especially if you're selling something that can only be bought locally. Insurance can be bought you know all over the world but most insurance companies are local you know an insurance company in America may not insure somebody in Australia for car insurance it's you know, usually local companies so look in the local column when you're choosing your keywords so find a variety of keywords if you think there's enough different keywords with enough with decent search volume and when I say decent anything in the hundreds is great these are looking a little bit low you need a lot of pages to make up a decent website when the search volume is this low that first one's great 720 but you know that's the main keyword in the niche so it really doesn't give me great confidence that I'm going to find a lot of keywords so you might find this niche market's not the greatest for finding um, keywords because this is probably not enough of them um, there may well be if you do a little bit more digging and change you know try some different keywords but that's what you want to do if you're new and relatively inexperienced at uh, ranking and doing SEO on your key, on your websites, then aim for keyword phrases that are three keywords or longer. Like this has got three, four, four. This one's got six keywords in it. You're going to find these a lot easier to rank and get top Google rankings for than something like just car insurance or insurance. That's a very short, what you call a short tail or two keyword phrase. Very difficult to rank for in Google, and you'll have a hard time competing with big companies that have got budgets to spend on their search engine optimization. So keep in mind that you want to have a variety of different keywords on your site. They have to have a decent amount of local search volume and you don't want to go after things that are two, you know, only one or two keyword phrases. Stick to three or four or more keyword phrases. That's a good rule of thumb. Go through the list um, with the Google Keyword Tool. Try and find about 10 or 20 different keywords that have search volume. Once you've done that and you've selected them, you can just click here, download, select it and then you can export that and save that as your first round of research and if you can't find anything in the niche like teenage car insurance then you know you might want to go for um, you could go for something like female car insurance you know or just car insurance or whatever you can just just have a look around and try different initial searches up the top here and keep searching on them and then looking I forgot to take the filter off I had a filter on for teenage so I've got to remove teenage I'm just going to look at my timer I'm running out of time with my clock as you can see ticking so I'm going to wrap this video up but I would then go after like female car insurance and then I do the same thing I go well female car insurance female car insurance quote young female cheap female car insurance um, female down here and again I could female driver car insurance women car insurance so you might just want to target the women or the female and look for those keyword phrases and build a small site out around that it really depends on what you're doing online but when choosing keywords keep in mind search volume and competition and make sure you've got a variety of keywords on your site that will enable you to create more content on your domain so that's it for this video on find keywords i hope you found it useful and more videos on the way just to remind you if you want some more coaching you um, find a whole lot over at my blog here at mattsmarketingblog.com i've got a community of thousands and thousands of people that follow uh, my advice and get free coaching on all sorts of internet marketing and affiliate marketing marketing related topics hope you found this video useful bye for now